All right, fine people. So today we're going to make a little desk plaque with your name. So this is one I already did, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So we'll do create new design. And I'm going to go up here and give it a name so that we don't get confused. I'll just call it desk plaque. I'm going to switch to top view and get right around the middle of this somewhere. And we'll zoom in. I'm going to go to text and numbers over here on the side. And I'll do a different name besides mine. Let's do one for Miss Niece. So uh, you need to drag your letters out. And I'm not going to scale them because we're just going to design this to be kind of small. Okay, so in E. Don't worry about spacing them just perfect now. And A. Because we can come back in and uh, do it in a minute. N-E-A-C-E, just like that. Okay. So now, uh, let me just kind of, oops. Make sure not to make them any thicker or uh, move them off of the, the plane. Okay, now I've got that one out of whack here. I'm going to snap my grid to a half millimeter. Makes it just a little bit easier. Um, all right, so to get them even, because it's a little bit out of whack now, I'm going to click and drag and select them, and then you come right over here to the align. Align, and then I'm going to align them to the center, and now you can see they are perfectly evenly um, aligned um, vertically with one another. Now, um, let's go see how thick these things are. So if you move your mouse... Over a center point of one of these letters, it'll tell you that it's four millimeters. And that's fine. We're going to leave it at that. Let me go ahead and group this name. Okay. Like that. Now we need to make the base plate that this is going to fit on. Okay. The base plate that this is going to fit on. So for that, I'm going to use a box. And the box is far too thick for what we're wanting to do, but that's okay. I'll come over here and just drop my box. Okay, and then we'll click on this and make this a little bit wider than the, uh, than the name. Uh, we don't need to be near as thick. Right now it's 20, so I'm going to set it to 4. So it's the same thickness, okay, and it does not need to be uh, near as wide either. I'm going to make it eight. It's going to be twice as thick this way as the letters are. Okay, now we can take our camera. Well, first, let's select all the letters and rotate them up 90 degrees. So you get them selected. You click not on that. Uh, right here, this one. Click on it. 90 degrees. Okay, now they're standing up. At this point, we can move our camera. Oh, let's do a 180 on this to flip them over. There we go. And we know that this thing right here is four millimeters thick. So I'm going to click on this and raise these up so that it is four millimeters from the ground. Okay, that way whenever we drag it over to the little plaque, or the little base rather, it will be perfectly four millimeters and it will be touching when we, make the, uh, when we print the model. Now, you may be wondering how are we going to center this thing on the base. Well, that's simple too. I'm just going to highlight it like so. Go over to our little align, and we're going to click here, and that's going to align it left to right, and then we're going to click here, and that'll align it front to back. 
Now Miss Niece has herself a lovely little desk plaque. I'm pretty happy with that. So I want you guys to do it with your name. And uh, if you don't get something right the first time, remember, just click on it, press delete, and then try it again. And uh, since you joined the class, I'll be able to see it. So you guys have a good one.